Welcome back. You're here just in time for dinner, and I'm going to put together a three-course meal for us. It's going to be roasted vegetables, broiled salmon, and a fresh pasta made with rosemary. So let's get started. The first thing we've got to do is we're going to be using our grill, and we're going to grill at very high temperatures. We're going to grill at about 650 degrees, so you can see that right there. And um, I'm going to be using cast iron for part of the grilling. And for the vegetables, I'm going to be using my paella pan. So here we go. Step back. Whoa, that's hot. So I've got some olive oil here, which has some garlic in it. And I'm going to put that right in there. Just kind of cover the bottom. And that's browning up right away. I'm going to put our sliced carrots right in there. And the carrots are actually sliced up and they're marinating in a little bit of vinaigrette. So let's just close that up. Now what I'm going to do while those carrots are cooking, let's get the fish prepared. And here's our fish. And I'm going to be using a mixture of ginger, garlic, and scallions that I've just cut from the garden. And I'll be moving back and forth between some of these dishes to make sure that things are going okay. Here's our garlic, and I'll just smash that. And I'm going to just make a little bit of pesto with it. So we've got garlic, got scallions, and we've got some ginger. So I'll just smash that. What I'm going to do here in a moment is I'm going to go over and I'm going to check on our vegetables, our carrots. I'm pretty sure they are roasting right up, and I'm going to add some more vegetables there. I wanted to put the carrots in first because they take the longest to cook. So let's head on over back to the vegetables. And those are roasting up quite nicely. Those are fresh from the garden as well. What I'm going to put in now are some onions and mushrooms that I've sliced up. Let's put those right in. So those will brown up. We'll close that back up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oil onto my cast iron skillet here. Work that heat right up. And we're going to run back to our fish. And here we have some fresh salmon. It's great stuff. You remember you can only use fresh fish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some strips right here into this. I'm going to cross cut and then I'm going to take this mixture and I'm just going to press it right into the fish. And this is a fillet of salmon. You want the salmon to have these nice veins of fat running through it. The fat is actually what provides the flavor. So let's head back over here. Our oil is well heated up now. Let me just get a longer. So you can see that oil is smoking. I'm going to just put that right on there like that. That's 700 degrees. We'll just let that begin to heat up. 
Then the next thing we're going to do is we've got some fresh rosemary pasta. And the rosemary we actually got from our rosemary tree. We have some water boiling here for the pasta. In the water we have some oil and some salt. And we're just going to grab that. We'll lift that heat right up. And I'll grab these runaway pastas. I'll put those right in there. And we're going to let that cook oh, probably about three minutes. You can see that the fish is cooking right up. Our vegetables. The next thing I'm going to add will be some peppers. That up. So what's what's happening now is that the hottest part of the grill is up here at the top, which is where the salmon is, so where that's cooking. So that's broiling both from the bottom and from the top at the same time. Our pasta has another minute or so to go. And if you'll take a look at the temperature, we've maintained that temperature. It's dropped a little bit because we've uh, lifted the lid, but it's 500 degrees closest to the surface here. And what we're going to do now is we're simply going to put in some very fresh pea pods that we just picked from the garden. And as you can see, the carrots are well cooked, our onions are beginning to caramelize. So let's take a look at our pasta here. Our pasta is just about done. It smells great. It's pretty fresh. So let's let's drain our pasta. Let's shut it off. And here we go. One of the benefits of cooking outside. Give our vegetables another stir, and our salmon is probably just about right. I think what I'll do is I will just cut that salmon up. Turn this.
go. So let me grab a plate. And we'll grab some pasta. Pasta, rosemary pasta, some fresh roasted vegetables, and some roasted salmon. Uh, thanks for coming, and we'll see you next time.